Hey everybody, Rory from ANS Gear. We're looking at some pants from Valken today. These are the Valken Zulu Pro pants. So this has um, um, all the features basically of all the pants that they're doing in their Pro model. So they're their high-end model right here. Uh, I really enjoy these pants or I like what I've seen with these pants so far. Their material that they're doing them with is 100% ripstop, which is lightweight, breathable. <coughs> and if we look really close, if you've never seen a ripstop style material before, you can see that there's all these stitch lines in it that go across each other like that. What that's going to do is it's going to help um, any kind of tear or rip that you get in the pant from propagating out any further. It's kind of like little stops all along the material that'll help keep it from just ripping apart if you were to put a hole in them or rip them. Hopefully you don't with these pants because they are really well built. They're nice and lightweight. Um, got some good padding in them. Just all around a good looking pant. Uh, we'll start up here at the top. Adjustable waistband. Velcro running all the way around the back. I like that so you really can get a good amount of adjustment out of them. So you can bring this all the way back if you need to. If you're going that far to adjust your pants, you're probably wearing the wrong size pants, but you can do it that way. <coughs> Excuse me, I know a lot of people like to oversize their clothing, so they can tend to be a little big around the waist. This lives you, at least gives you the option to adjust if you need to. But always try to size your clothing appropriately. Uh, open this up. We have a nice padded fly region right here in the front, so any extra padding in that particular spot is welcomed. Uh, looking inside, I don't see any mesh lining on there, which I really like. I'm not a fan of the mesh lining. They always seem to get caught on any kind of Velcro that you're wearing underneath, whether it be knee pads or sliders or whatever it happens to be. Though I guess you don't see too much Velcro on sliders, but definitely on knee pads. It always seems to catch on there. Uh, so that's what we're looking at from the top right there. We're going to still focus on the front as we work our way down. We've got pockets on the front. Now, each pocket is actually two pockets. So you've got a pocket just a normal size pocket that's on there. And I'm gonna flip this around so I can get my hand into it a little bit better. So this pocket comes all the way down to right here. That's where my, my, my finger is right there. And it comes all the way over to here. My thumb is right there. So my finger, and then it runs up like this. So that's one pocket and that is just open. It's got no closure to it. Uh, it is just an open pocket, but there's a zipper that's kind of hidden right here. If we open that pocket up, we can reach inside. And then we have about the same size pocket. My finger again is all the way down to here. Thumb is over here. The same size pocket that is securely closed. So it's, back, it's, it's a pocket laying on top of a pocket basically inside of there. Um, so each pocket is two pockets, one easily accessible, one secured. So you can put stuff in there that you don't want to fall out. Moving on down. I'm going to kind of fold these over for a second so you can see the cargo pocket that's right here. So they have a, a lay flat cargo pocket system. So this will help keep it. If there's nothing in it, it'll keep it flat and kind of out of the way. It is a button closure system right here. Inside, there is a little spot. Now this is used for two things. There's a little pocket that's down inside of here. If you are not carrying a swab with you, then that pocket could be used to hold whatever you want. Plus the just the bigger pocket on the outside. But if you are carrying a swab, they have cut a pass through in the outside flap so that you can stick a swab or whatever it happens to be through there. You see that? It passes through that part right there. And then that can go down into the pocket down there. That way this can stay closed and you can still get to and remove your uh, your swab or squeegee or whatever you're sticking down inside of there. So comes out just like that. Cool little pass through they've cut into there. All right, moving down the front of the knee right here. I love this stretch zone right here at the top of the knee pad area. Because the knee pads are typically stiffer than the rest of the pant, when you are crawling, diving, sliding on your knees, this part doesn't stretch. And so what it does is it puts a lot of pressure on the knee 
joint right there of your pants if there happens to be any stitching or sewing. And what it will do is just rip this knee pad right out of there. There's always gonna be a stitch line where the padding has to be connected to the pant. So they've incorporated this stretch zone so that when you hit the ground and this wants to just grab, but this pant needs to stretch, it goes and it stretches out rather than just putting all that force right at that stitch and then ripping it apart. You've got some stretch there, which will definitely increase the longevity of your pants. I've put a ton of holes in pants in the knee and pants in the crotch, and anytime you can get a stretch area in either of those spots, it's a definite plus. Nice padding all the way through the knee area, um, especially right in the middle. So there's good padding in the middle, padding around the edges. It's up to you whether you want to wear knee pads underneath there. I probably still would. Come down to the bottom, more ripstop material, and then we've got the adjustable cuff at the bottom so that we can bring this around and definitely make it tight against your ankle if that's the way you play. Now, I would not leave it like this. You will end up destroying the bottom of your pants or tripping over them. Both of them are funny. If you want us to laugh at you, please leave your pants like this when you're running around. All right, one thing I did forget or I missed is the crotch. We talked about the fly protection up here, the padded fly, but the crotch also incorporates that stretch into it so that you have very, very wide range of movement when you are crouching, stretching, bending, one knee up, one knee down, whatever you happen to be doing, whatever your playing stance is, um, help you from busting the crotch out of your pants. Backside here, we talked about the Velcro on the back. We've got a good stretch zone through the back here. This is going to just help with your pack when it's on your back. You can tighten those down. You want to give your pants the ability to stretch when you're, you know, have your harness around the back of you. Plus, if you're just leaning over, bending down, whatever you happen to be doing, a little stretch goes a long way. <coughs> Excuse me. More ripstop material through the back seat of the pants. Coming down to the bottom where the, this is basically right behind your knee. We've got a nice breathable mesh material to help get that heat out of the pants and get nice cool air inside. More uh, ripstop and then down to the cuff. These pants are very, very nice. They're very lightweight. They incorporate a lot of good features into them to help keep them running as long as you are. Definitely pick some of these up. Valken Zulu Pro Pants, available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.